Hey guys, welcome back to Pots Mama Bear. Um, today's video is going to be a um, DIY leather uh, leather craft kit, and it is an arrowhead necklace. It's just like the one that I made um, a while back. It was the bear claw, the sorry bear claw necklace, and it's um, pretty simple to put together. I think I've made one of these before. And um, all you would need is things that are right here because I did open up the kit already. This one is from Tandy's Leather Factory. Sorry, I should have said that at first. But um, here are here are the things that you need. The little metal cones to go down at the end to hold the feathers in place. These are the feathers you do get um, four. It's two white and two blue. Um, you have some, uh, sorry, some, um, fake bone beads, and these are the big ones, and then you have small ones, you have your blue pony beads, your black pony beads, um, some string, well, actually, this would be considered sinew, um, and then you have your um, arrowhead, which is made of plastic. So let's get to it. Um, uh, I believe we are missing the leather from this kit. So I have some leather and I will be back. I'm going to go get it. Okay guys, so I went ahead and got the leather. Um, now what I'm going to do, what it says to do is says to cut lace into one foot piece and a three foot piece. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Let me find the end. I think it's right here. Okay. So I am just going to kind of eyeball this because um, I don't have a ruler. So. And then it says to cut a three foot piece so I'm just going to say this is one foot uh, two and here is three now I got this um, leather spool at I believe it was Walmart it was a uh, quite a while ago and I think it was like $10. Okay. So now it says to fold the three foot piece in half. And I went ahead and made sure that it was not um, taint or twisted at all. And then it says to thread both ends through the hole in the arrowhead and this is going to form a loop so this is a little harder than I thought let me try to Possibly pull this one. 
while I'm trying to shove this one in there and no, it's not working. This is actually a lot harder than it looks. I'm just trying to shove this piece in there. So let me go ahead and push this through and then I'll come back and show you um, show you what we have. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I got it. And <laughs> just going to pull it through um, until it shows a loop. Oh no. Don't pull it too hard because you might lose that. Okay, so now it says to put, and it looks like the leather is like this I don't know okay I'm just gonna leave it like that um, it's telling you to pull the two ends through the loop like so and then um, I believe this is gonna be the front yes so it looks like this and then you're going to um, insert the one foot of loop one foot of loop <laughs> one foot piece of lace um, through the loop okay so loosen that a little bit and you're going to feed this through the loop and then then we pull these two together like that to close the loop Okay, so now we're going to slide beads and hair pipe to the end hmm okay so I guess these are called hair pipes I am completely confused on this because, yeah, okay, we'll just do how it says. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and open up these beads and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so I got all the beads out. I set them in their separate little piles, sort of. Now, um, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and follow the pattern that they have on here, because I'm trying to do this exactly as it is on the package. Okay, so you go one blue, one black, one blue and then one of these the big ones and we're going to slide that all the way down and then I'm going to take the other side and do a blue black and then blue and one of these large ones and it looks like you're going to repeat the pattern 
Um, looks like you're going to repeat the pattern one, two, three, four, five, six times on each side. So we will see if they even give, give us enough beads for that. So here's this one. And here is the that one. Let me scoot these up. Sorry, guys. I decided to sit on the floor because I didn't really want to sit at the desk or at the table. Okay. Here's this one again. And then we are going to take one of these big ones. Where's it supposed to be the little ones? Oh, okay. So it's the little ones on the second one. I was kind of wondering where these little ones were going. Okay. So we're going to pull all the, those all the way down and then repeat the process again. Sorry guys, there's one of my hairs on it. Okay. So it's the three beads and then one of the bone ones or as they're calling them the hair beads or um let me see the hair pipes is what they're calling them and then you're going to pick up three of these and then one of the small ones and then you repeat the process on the other side And then this is going to be um, the last one for this side. Oh, that's the blue one. And then black. And then blue. And one of these long, or the last long one for that side. And then we're going to do it again on the other side. Okay, so let's see. Um, now it looks like we are all done as far as that. Um, it looks like we are just going to go ahead and um, put two blue beads on the last um just like this and then it's uh, tie a knot above the last bead on each lace end to hold it all in place and then tie the oh okay I get it Okay, so they want you to tie a knot to hold it in place. Okay. 
Okay, and then you're going to tie a knot on the top. like that. So if you have long hair, this is going to pull your hair. Maybe not. Hmm. Not really sure. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to throw, uh, throw, <laughs> sorry, thread both ends of the one foot piece of lace through three beads. Um, up the slide, uh, slide, uh, you're going to put the beads up the lace until they are snug against the arrowhead. Okay. So we are going to take these two and make sure they are even. And if they're not, you can just cut off the excess. And then you're going to take, oh wait, no, it's blue first. The blue one, just kind of try to, I guess, twist it on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and push this all the way up. And even though this is the first bead, um, I'm still going to push it all, all the way up. This is like really hard. I think the leather that I have is a little too thick for this. Okay. So you go ahead and do that with the remaining two beads which is going to be a um, one is going to be black and then you have your last blue one which i'm going to put one at a time on here And you take this one, this is your last bead, and just go ahead and pull this all the way up. Oh my god. This is like really hard. Oh, okay. It's because mine's it's a, one of my sides are twisted. Okay, so now they're not twisted. Just gonna go ahead. Oh, wait, it's the black one first, like this, and then the blue. Okay, guys, I am going to try to attempt to put these all the way up, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so this is how it looks. And now we are going to go ahead and do um, this last part right here with the beads. I mean, with the feathers. And...
Okay. So, I just did this wrong. I was over here struggling to get these three beads on here and I didn't even realize that it is actually the wrong lace. So it's actually talking about the snoo and it didn't say snoo at first it said just the lace. So this is the snoo it's actually waxed um, lace or um, string. So this is what you're supposed to have a foot of. Um, Okay, so I'm going to put that to the side, and then we are going to do this, and make sure that both ends are equal, and then you go ahead and pull this back down, and then all this should fall in place. So now what you're going to do, because it shows it right here like you're using the other one, but I'm not really sure, and I don't really know. Because in, in the instructions it said to use um, leather in one part, and in the other part it says that you're going to be using the sinew. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the sinew. And it should fit up there just like that. Um, now it says do the beads. Um, I just did that. Okay, this is so confusing. Maybe I'm just special, but, um, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do what I think this is supposed to be. And, yeah. So this last little part is going to be a little different than the instructions that are on there. I know I said I was trying to follow them. Okay, so here are the bl um, blue and white feathers. And I'm going to take these and them like this and now it shows that these cones are going to go upward which is the small end first Which that still doesn't make sense to me because you still have to put the feathers in there and then the feathers are going to slide down like they are right now. Okay, I am going to figure this out and I will be right back. Okay guys, so after maybe about 10 minutes, I finally uh, got what they're talking about with the sinew. I just went ahead and put the leather back through here. I stringed the B 
beads all the way up just like it says and then I'm going to show you what I did on this bottom part right here okay so I took the cone I put it the small part for uh, first and you're just gonna kind of twist that until it goes all the way up and um, I left probably about that much um, maybe an inch and I went ahead and I shoved both feathers up into the cone and that's not that's really not going anywhere at all and then now I took the sinew and I did one knot up here right there and then I flipped it over and I did a double knot on the back just like this Actually, I think I did a triple just to make sure. And then I went ahead and made sure that none of the feathers were in front of the string and then I, or the snoot, and then I went ahead and cut it. And that is how that looks. Now what I'm going to do is just trim off some of this. Just um, just a little bit. Or leave just a little bit. And then you're going to just go ahead and cut that. And then cut this piece off. And that is your finished look for this project if you guys have any comments or anything oh i'm sorry um i will talk to you as i'm doing this um if you guys have any comments or anything go ahead and leave them in the um, comment box below um and if you guys want to see anything anything like that uh, any more videos stuff like that just go ahead and let us know and we will get on that Guys, we love you so much, and we will see you in our next video, and I hope you guys are staying safe out there. We love you guys. Bye.